other coders in this video I'm going to show you how to colorize a black and white film for free without writing a single line of code. Colorization with the AI is widely used by the film and television companies but free Python libraries like the one which you're going to use for this project called Deoldify make this technology accessible by the ordinary people like myself. So what we're going to do, I've taken this free footage of some chronicle from the internet, but you may actually find a black and white uh, film or footage yourself via the YouTube. And once you've clicked on that link in the description, you're going to get into something called a Google Collab whereby initializing the right field in the right order, we can get a pretty decent result. So without further ado, let's check the runtime setting. Make sure you can put the change runtime type, make sure it is set to the GPU. Otherwise, it may take several hours to perform a colorization. And now we are ready to get on with the project. So we're going to initialize the first cell click run anyway and we're going to clone the repo and once it's done we can check the manage sessions so you can see it's running all good once it's done we can initialize this second one and then we are ready to get on with this setup so we'll initialize the first cell it will not take long and once it's done, we're ready to do the peep install. When we run this peep install for the first time, we might encounter an error. But nothing to worry about, it's all good. What we'll need to do, we'll need to just restart the runtime. So we can do that by clicking this button, restart runtime, or we can do that by going into the runtime tab in here. Here we can click the restart runtime or restart and run all because um, I'm making a video. I need to show this step by step uh, initialization. I'll just click the restart runtime. Yes. And now we need to reinitialize these cells which we already uh, initialized in our first attempt. This time uh, they will perform even faster. So we'll start with git clone and then cd deoldify and then this setup cell and peep install again. This time we should not get the error. If you will get the error for the second time, try to um, restart the environment again and run it. From there we can continue and initialize the next cell, import fast AI and that can take several minutes. So I'm clicking on this cell make dear models. That might take several minutes as well. And bear in mind the next cell watermark, please do not initialize it unless you want a watermark over the video. Personally, I'm not a big fan of watermarks and you can do the same. Just skip this cell and click on the next one, colorizer, get video colorizer. I should also mention if you have forgotten some of the steps you need to take or you want a bit more explanations on what um, each cell does, there are set of instructions down below. So I'm clicking on colorizer and I'm just waiting for it to complete. As you can see, there are instructions. If you need to refresh on any of the steps, that should be covered in this bit here. And once the setup is complete, so we're just waiting for the last cell to finish its running. So there are pro tips as well and troubleshooting. So pretty good um, set of instructions, I should say. So once it's all done, we can crack on with the colorization. 
and that will be um, an easy task as well. So it's almost done. So in here, in this section, you can see colorize. We have several parameters which we'll need to um, adjust. So first of all, untick this watermark, unless you really want a watermark on your video. And then here is the source URL. So I'm going to be using the URL from the YouTube. Uh, this works surprisingly fine. So uh, it's great comments. So I can use it in this video with no further problems. So I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to paste it to the source URL field. And just below that, we have the render factor. Now the lower render will mean that the colorization will be performed quicker, but less accurate. So you might expect some of the colors overlap with contours of objects in the video, or the colors might not be um, as precise. And the high render factor will mean that it will take much longer, but it will potentially produce the better results than the lower render. I'll leave it um, in the middle. So the render factor of 21 is pretty good trade-off between um, the speed of rendering and the quality. And we're going to click on the colorize and this will kick in the colorization process. Now I should mention um, some tips. So when the colorization process will begin, please leave this uh, window on top of other windows. Do not um, sort of minimize it because uh, it's Google call up and sometimes um, it may think you have abandoned the computer and will decide to um, cut off the call up from um, the active performance. So it may say uh, you've been not logged out, but the call up was stopped. This may not happen every time, but once again, because this is a, an online service, essentially anything may happen. So please leave this video on top. So we don't need that and we're ready to kick in. And to be honest, there is not much we need to do um, after that. You'll see here on the left in the folders, we'll have um, a result folder that will contain our new file. So in here, um, I can't remember which one, but I'll show you once it's done. I think there will be a folder with the source file and the folder with the result file, which we can download. So the process might take up to, I don't know, half an hour, depending on your render factor. And I think I'll cut it here and then I'll come back once it's, uh, it's done running. All right, so we're pretty much done with the rendering and in here to the left, you'll see the folder Deoldify. And inside the Deoldify folder, you'll see the video folder, which will contain the source and the result. So we need the result. So I'm going to click on this three dots on the right and I'm going to choose download. So, so it will do it the following way. It will fill this uh, wheel on the right. And once it's filled, it will offer us to download the file. But once again, to avoid any interruptions, leave this window on top of other windows. And this is pretty much it. So I'm inviting you to have a look how the um, Deoldify library has colorized my movie. And I think that's a pretty decent result. And that was pretty quick and easy machine learning project. Have fun with it. That was V. Please give this video and press thumbs up, toll the bell and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.
Bye for now. Thank you.